Well, ever since the start of the season, Cass Lake being a boys basketball has had the goal of winning a state championship. Now they're a step closer to making that goal a reality as they get to ready to make some noise down south this week. For the first time since 2010, Cass Lake Bina is heading to the state tournament. A feat that's been a long time coming. It took that long to get to where we are. Um, even in those years, you know, when they're freshmen, sophomores, um, juniors, we, we had good teams. It just, we just, we were just lacking something somewhere. It was just this bunch. It was like everything was put together. And that was apparent in their section final win over Ada Borup, where the Panthers starters got in foul trouble, but the bench came up big. When the bench plays good, I don't, I don't think we could be beat, to be honest, because the starters are doing good, and then the bench comes in and it's knocked down threes like that. It's, it's over. It's no secret this team knows how to score. 80 or more points in 19 of their wins this year. And with that depth and balance, it's a pick your poison of who you want to guard. Just so nice to have not just like one or two or three guys on a team that can score it all, but like like that five and six and seven, eight. And I mean, it just, it's so amazing to have such a team like that. I mean, we can go like, say two or three of our starters are out. I mean, two or three can come in, they can do their job. Now the focus shifts to Rushford Peterson tomorrow night in the quarterfinals. Another team that likes to slow down the pace, but that won't change the Panthers' game plan. We're going to go down and do what we do. You know, until somebody stops us and beats us, we're not going to change what we do. We're going to we're going to do what we do, and we're going to keep rotating. We're going to keep pushing the ball up. We're going to keep throwing in 10 to 12 to 15 guys. On them. But in the end, it all comes back to their goal since the start of the season. Their second place banner up there. And, and I want to I wanna have a championship banner, it's the one that says championship banner. If we do it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to mean a lot to, to the reservation and stuff. It's going to mean a lot. They are the nightcap tomorrow night at the barn. Tip-off set for around 5. Winner goes to the Target Center in the semifinals Thursday afternoon. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.